Greetings everyone and welcome to this short tutorial on working with the My Shortcuts menu bar in QuickBooks Desktop. Hi, I'm Kathy Grosskirth and I am an Advanced Certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor and I'm also a Certified Bookkeeper. I'm also one of Astutomy's newest authors. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, so as you can see we're in the QuickBooks account at desktop 2016 and when you open up to the home page it automatically goes to the my shortcuts bar which is what you see in remember in an earlier tutorial I say I prefer to use the left shortcut bar because it avails you with so many choices but what we're going to do just here really briefly is show you how to work with customizing the shortcuts so as you can see as you scroll down to the bottom you can click on customize shortcuts now once you do that you'll see the customize icon bar opens up all these icon bar content items are listed in here some of these I don't need so I'm just gonna go ahead and take these out any of these that you click on you can go ahead and do delete and that does not delete them from your main menu you can still access them from your main menu bar um, the income tracker and the bill tracker I probably won't need because I can access all that through my home page so I'm gonna go ahead and delete those out I don't really use the calendar a whole lot so I'll go ahead and delete that out and let's see I do want access to my customers and vendors I don't really have employees per se so I'll go ahead and delete those bank feeds I definitely want to keep those in I don't really use the docs feature and I don't need all this stuff on user licenses I don't even really use the statement writer but I might keep that in because that might be something I'll want to do later on client review and merchant services center I don't really need that either so I'm gonna go ahead and take all those things out I'm going to go ahead and delete that as well. And as you can see, as you're doing this in the customized icon bar, it updates in the left side. So you can reorder these icons. You can drag an icon's diamond up or down to the position that you want. So say I want to put, and I don't really need these snapshots either, so I'm going to delete those out. Say I want to put my bank feeds near the top because I use those quite a bit so here we go once I do that it moves everything I don't know if I really need all these spaces or not these spaces are basically just things that help you organize your menu bar so I'm gonna delete these spaces out because I really don't need those I don't even really need the reports area because I have my run favorite reports and I can access that from there so from right now that's all I think I need I can go ahead and delete that extra space out I can delete where it says feedback and I'll delete that extra space so in doing that I only have a few things on here that I really use and so once I do that I can click on OK and now look at what we have in the left hand side bar over here we have just a few things that I would use on a regular basis that I could just go to and I can always add those back if I wanted to I can always add those items back so you go to customize shortcuts again then it will um, give you the option to add so you click on the add button and then you can go through and add all these things back if you wanted to and, and even more stuff so that's how you can go ahead and customize those so at any time and of course it assumed I wanted to add that I'm gonna go ahead and delete that out so I just have it set up to what I'm going to use so at any rate that's basically it for that tutorial hopefully you learned some things about it and how to navigate your my shortcuts bar a little bit better than you knew how to do before so again I hope you enjoyed that tutorial hope you learned a lot from it Check with us to me for new content, new and better content, and we look forward to seeing you next time.
And again, that wraps up this short tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned some from it. Check back with us frequently for new content, and I hope to see you again soon.